Hello everyone, this is Tim, and I want to talk about dice and when to roll them. I, uh, I guess I wanted to start out with a situation. There are times when, like maybe, no matter what game you're playing, there are like skill checks, or you roll against a stat, or you roll an add like your stat modifier, and it's supposed to give you a solution. It's supposed to tell you what happens. Whatever you were trying to do, there is some sort of result because of it. Now, dice rolling sort of has that binary effect. You know, it's like you either success or you fail. Uh, some RPGs have that sort of like gray area. If you like. You fail, but you're close. It's kind of you know something happens, but or if you like succeed and you really succeed, something really cool happens. I don't know. But there's different RPGs and they do the whole dice mechanic thing a little bit differently. But that's not really what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is sort of the GM's right to hand wave dice rolling, where if you want the players to have certain information, you can just give it to them. Now. Some might say that this kind of screws up some things, and you know, why would you want to just give players things? Well, it comes down to the fact that, okay, if you are going to have dice and you're going to roll dice on the table, there is a chance that they're going to fail. So, if you really don't want your characters to fail in some specific instance, why would you leave it up to dice? Why would you leave it up to chance? Uh, you know, you can give your players information. Just because, you know, the standard way of doing it is to, you know, always roll dice rolls for search checks for, you know, traps or whatever. Uh, maybe it's a very easy trap. Maybe it's a very terrible trap. Maybe some stupid goblin set it up and it's really easy to see that, oh, if I touch this string right here, the door is going to, you know, open and something's going to stab me in the face. You know, whatever whatever you think would be easy to just, just hand wave. Just, you know what, uh, you know that you find some... Yeah, you find some clues in the in the corner that were underneath, you know, like a blanket or, you know, whatever. You know, just just simple things that don't really need a dice roll. So as a GM, when it comes down to it, you are the one who calls for dice rolls. You are the one that's basically saying, uh, you know, this is this is up to chance, and then this stuff isn't up to chance. And really, there really isn't any fast. Uh, you know, hard rules or anything for that. It's just, it comes down to what you think as the as the GM. What do you think? What do you think the situation calls for? You know, is this a situation where it really should be left up to the chance? That's fine. Roll the dice, you know, maybe even roll out in front of them. And uh, just let it happen. And what kind of brings this up is, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of times where GMs will fudge dice. And I've done that. I, you know, I've rolled dice. I sometimes I just roll behind my hand, or, or I have a, you know, GM screen, and uh, you know, I don't want to kill the characters off or or whatever. And I've been trying to do less of that. I've been trying to kind of take off the kitty gloves a little bit. And I tell the players that I say, you know what, if we're rolling dice, we're gonna roll dice, and we're gonna let the dice fall where they may. And that I mean. I'm kind of conflicted, I guess, as far as that goes, because I guess what I'm trying to come up, come up with is, you know, if I don't want to let it down to the dice, I'm just not going to have them roll it. It's like, you know, it, there's a bunch of little minions, and, you know, you just wade through them, you kill them all. Uh, there was a situation in a game I just ran where one of the clerics had turned this big, like, horrible skeleton thing, and I could have continued on with combat with them just seeing how long they're going to beat it down, but it's like, there's no point, you know, you just, you beat it till it's dust, uh, the bones fall apart. So, huh, I'm kind of meandering here. Basically what I want to say is that when it comes down to the dice rolling, and you're the GM, you don't have to dice roll everything. You can give players information about search checks or, you know, looking around, it, just maybe by the way you describe things. You can give them lots of information that they could have they could find with search checks, but you just give it to them. And it's, I don't know, since I've been doing more of that, I think I've been enjoying myself a little bit more, where I will just, you know what, here's here's what you find in the room. You know, as long as, as, long as they say that, you know, we're looking for things. Okay, well, if you're looking for stuff, you know, you don't need to roll the dice, that's fine. This stuff's all pretty easy to, to you know, 
to be able to find and figure out what's going on. And I've been trying to let the dice, you know, when we actually roll them, let the results stand. You know, however, however painful they are, you know, and, oh, maybe I wiped out a character. Uh, I just, I killed a character off the other day. Uh, he was very, he was a, he was a first level uh, magic user. So he really didn't have that many hit points anyway, you know, but I just, I just let it stand. I, I, you know, I, I gave him, I just let it happen. You know, it's just, that's how, it, that's how it worked out. You know, adventuring is dangerous. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Uh, have you guys ever thought about this? Like, have you ever said, okay, you know, roll, roll a, you know, a skill roll or a stat roll. And then after the fact, you kind of regret that. It's like, oh, well, I guess you didn't figure it out the trap or I guess you didn't uh, find that piece of information that is kind of the plot hook into the next you know situation that I want you guys to go to uh, I don't know is there any situations where you, you bumped into that or you regret rolling too much dice um, another thing too that this might uh, kind of go along with sort of like the charisma roles the uh, the social skill roles versus actually role playing and this is something that's always kind of bugged me I understand why social skills exist. I understand, you know, you have a certain amount of points to put in different areas and you want to make your character unique. Uh, I sort of have a debate with skill versus skill systems, but I generally come to sort of a compromise with social skills where I'll say, okay, well, before you roll the dice, what do you actually say? Because something you might say might make them like say no no matter how good your dice roll is or they might always say you know they might say yes without a dice roll if, if what your the argument that you're putting forth makes sense to them does it benefit them in some way you know um, another uh, an instance where that happened I was playing in a Firefly game and uh, it actually turned into an or like a like a law and order type of show we were in like a courtroom and um, my character happened to have uh, some knowledge with law so I was sort of the uh, the lawyer because they couldn't get a lawyer and it was actually pretty fun it was it was kind of stressful I was I was actually worried about what the jury was gonna think with different situations and trying to get uh, evidence like inadmissible but I role-played out everything that I said you know so it was kind of like a, a firefly version of law and order it was pretty cool but I didn't just let it down to the dice roll and the GM I really appreciated that uh, in fact I think he asked for a roll first. I'm like, you know what? I'm, would you would you mind if I just role play this out? And uh, in the end, I think he realized that, that was a better way to go because everyone seemed to have a lot of fun. It was not your standard um, session. It kind of stood out a little bit more because it was a little bit different. But so I don't know. Dice rolls and uh, yeah, all that. Just give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I just think that you don't always have to roll dice. <laughs>